Greetings. So, what's my thoughts on the Aubrey case and the verdict? One thing I want to point out, and I will cover in this video. Pay attention to the fact that this case and the Rittenhouse case was put front and center, but look at all the cases across America that they're not showing you. In the sense that, why are they just showing you these videos? Anyhow, this is OTR Ogre and Corgi. Like, link, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay, as far as the Aubrey case, um... I, I think it's kind of cheesy to say citizen's arrest. You could maybe make that argument. I mean, if you're going to do a citizen's arrest, you pack in a lethal weapon, uh, you really run the border of having some fuck shit happen with when it comes to law. And I could kind of see, you know, the argument saying citizen's arrest, but one of the guys there was a former officer, so he you know, pretty much knows what's legal and what's not. In fact, you know, the surprise on the one dude <laughs> when... Uh, the dude shot the dude, and basically what it comes down to, I mean, when you're chasing it after a dude in a pickup, and then you're, uh, you know, running him down, and eventually Aubrey just decides, hey, I might just die here, and don't get me wrong, I don't think Aubrey was some innocent victim in this, I think Aubrey probably was fucking around doing some fuck shit, but the thing of it is, is it, is it your job to chase this guy down and dispense justice, you know, like, when Aubrey came and tried to take the gun from him, because he's like, fucking, I might die, I don't know how to perceive that because that does become a legal gray area. Are you defending yourself even though you're the one instigating? What okay, what they should have done. What they should have done is basically, you know, had video cameras, surveillance in the area, which they had recorded him fucking around in these these places. So it wasn't like, you know, or a guy who looks similar to him, like really similar, like pretty much exactly like him. So catch him on recording and then when you see the dude running around call the cops that's your, that's what they're there for it's not your job to go out and do this crap people like well it's my community blow and i understand that feeling if they're if they start off with robbing you and they feel they can do this on a regular what are they going to do next like well, are they going to break in and then if my, my wife or children are going to be hurt and that defensive instinct does kick in but you have to think about it in as far as the case goes in the in the country these days are you going to risk losing everything because you're trying to be, you know, oh, I'm going to protect my family, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I understand that feeling, but you have to think about it tactically. And that's where I say, hey, put up no trespassing to the sign, no trespassing other than deliveries, you know, that type of stuff. You know, make sure the signs look real nice because it was a, you know, a decent community. And set that up and then show the signs that say uh, video surveillance and have video surveillance. How about a neighborhood watch? You know, people on front porches, old school, you know, old, you know, out there. You know, just keeping an eye on the community, seeing seeing what kids are breaking shit and stuff, you know. Because that is a hell of a lot better than lo losing your freedom because you had a monkey moment. You you know, you went from thinking like a man to an animal. And you're like, they, they reacted re instinctively. And I want to point this out. The whole, you know, well, it, you know, if this is white supremacy. No, this is individual stupidity on their three parts. And even Aubrey. Like, what are you doing fucking around, poking around? Come on, dude. You know, that ain't your place. You know, it's one thing to go jogging down the street. You have every legal right to do that. But it's another thing when you're fucking around someone's property. Now, I know if this was, say, a thin young woman, white particularly, nobody would have said a thing about it. Like, if you, they would have thought maybe she's a real estate agent. Except for when you have seen someone poking around in the, uh, in the friggin' uh, garage situation where they're looking in there. Like, that, that might trigger something. But that's the thing about it. As a man, you should need to... You need to treat the situation like other people view you as a threat. Why? Because they do. I'm sorry, sad but true. Now, let's get back to the whole mainstream media thing. Why was the Aubrey case point pointed out, like promoted to the top of everything? I mean, the same thing with the Rittenhouse case. There was another case where the guy was found, I think it was the dude where the chick died, was it Sandra Bland or something like that? Uh, the chick died and the cops, you know, broke in the wrong way, and then they basically didn't know. They were basically defending their home, even though they were, they they did have drugs. And so she got shot up, and the dude got off because of the way the cops handled that situation. So in that case, with the Second Amendment, you can see, because of the way the, the cops broke in, and if anybody else broke in, you're defending your home could be a technical argument. As where when you're chasing someone down in the streets, and if you were to change the races... You know, make it a uh, you know white white dude and a black dude's mob and dad. No one would have argued this. Uh, you know, well, citizens arrest. They just would have called it a cold blooded murder. <laughs> That's what they would have done. Now, why is this case 
front and center, but you see on a regular, if you turn on like news from any major metropolitan, you will see, you know, black dude shooting black dude. No one got anything to say. You go to Appalachia, sometimes there's a trailer park issue, you know, some type of crazy murder or something. We don't hear about that. No, we don't hear about all the regular things that happen in America because that might make the narrative like, oh my God, white supremacy. Because they need you two to be at each other's throats. They need these white people to be on the defensive and ready to be pissed off. And they need black people ready to burn shit down. And then they need all the communists ready to like, okay, when we don't get the verdict right, or even if we do, much like a hockey, like we won we, we won the Stanley Cup and yet we're still burning shit down, or soccer riots over in uh, uh, Europe. It's like, we won, let's burn shit down. Wait, I thought we won. Why are we burning shit down? But that's exactly, they want an excuse for people to go out and terrorize working class people. Like, regular working class people suffer. I mean, I had one of my relatives tell me this bullshit line. I don't. I have a hard time talking to her at this point. Where she was like, well, these riots that happened today, these are a small price to pay for, you know, the changes that are happening in America. I'm like, people lost their entire businesses. Some people lost their lives. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, how much of this mainstream media are you watching? As I heard her regurgitate countless talking points from PBS, CNN, and all this crap. And, of course, the the suburban Karen told me, Oh, I watch Fox News. That's like saying that you drink from a septic tank for pure water. Like, oh, I, I but I also drink from this septic tank. No. Stop watching the mainstream media. They are using these cases as a weapon to control people. And if you... You look back in time, the church used to do the same thing. Hey, our version of uh, the invisible man says you need to go over there and kill these other people who believe in the invisible man. And now it's the exact same thing with the media. If you're smart enough to walk away from one form of propaganda, walk away from another. Anyhow, this is OTR Ogre and Corgi. Like, link, and subscribe. That's my thoughts. Take it easy.